I'm inside Queens County Animal Services. Today we're with Sarah, and Sarah, there are so many changes happening right here. And the first one, you'll notice as soon as you walk in, right? You will. Tell us about our QR codes. When you walk in, you'll notice our QR code here. We don't allow people to browse the dog crates anymore. But we still get to see the kitties, right? You do, <laughs> you do. So we have a brand new um, cat village, and right now it's housing a lot of kittens up for adoption. It's a state-of-the-art um, facility where it's five different levels, um, so they're very far from their litter box and they can roam up and down as they please. Um, the thing's bigger than my first apartment. It is, it's huge. <laughs> That's awesome. And we're doing this for a reason, because you're doing a new certification and everyone's going through training here, right? We are. So we um, participate in something called a fear free so we are now a fear free shelter every single one of us is certified and taken the course to become that sounds like a lot of changes here nothing but positive changes exactly, though at animal services exactly and now it's time to visit and meet the animals right let's do it so we made our way into the kitty cafe where i'm trying to uh, show my wife that we're going to have a new friend later <laughs> sarah can you tell us about the kitty cafe sure the kitty cafe is the newest addition to our shelter, Queen Anne's County Animal Services, it is a place for people and cat lovers alike to come and hang out with cats. I mean, I can't think of a better way to spend your time. Why do you think we're here? <laughs> <laughs> so we have um, coloring books, adult coloring books, new books in general, tea, coffee, all complimentary, as well as the feline love, which they give freely. So, so someone can just come in here, sit down like we're doing now, relax with a cat and have a great day? Absolutely. So now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this wasn't always here. This room was very different last time we visited. Correct, this used to be a place for feral cats to come. Right, and that's part of the TNR program, right? Correct. So tell us about TNR. So TNR stands for Trap, Neuter, Release. Um, we take uh, feral or community cats is a much gentler name for them. Mm -hmm. um, we neuter or spay. We uh, get them up to date on all their vaccines, rabies shots, a microchip, and then we ear tip them, which is the universal sign that this cat has been altered. So Sarah, this is your pride and joy. This is your volunteer corner. It is. Tell us about it. So um, before, I don't think there was much uh, in the way of, of thank volunteers and a section for them to come and get their supplies. So I tried to create a central location for everyone to come that volunteers. We have, starting with our bulletin board, um, some just general thank yous because it's an amazing thing to donate your time and it's a lot of hard work. Great, it sounds like it's never been more rewarding time to be a volunteer here for the animals and for our volunteers. Exactly, that's so what I'm hoping So if someone's for. interested, what do they do? So if you're interested in volunteering or fostering, we, we would go to our website and fill out the application online. I will respond within 24 hours, um, send you a, a personal email welcoming you and getting you set up for an orientation class. So it sounds like it's time for me to fill that out and start reading Harry Potter to some cats. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, yeah. <laughs>